Hey guys, how are you? It's great to see you. This is the Phoenix Cloud. My name is Isa and I am your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. We're doing the darn thing today for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Please guys, make sure you take what resonates for you. Leave the parts that don't. If nothing resonates for you in your sun sign Cancer, definitely check your other placements. And if those don't resonate, then feel free to check out my older readings. The description box has where you can find me on other social media um, platforms and also where you can purchase a lot of the cards I'm using or um, visit my storefront, okay? And last but not least, guys, feel free to reverse the roles, take what resonates, as I said, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. When you subscribe, hit that top notification bell and it will tell you every time I am uploading, you'll get a notification, okay? All right. So let's jump right in here, guys. If you're new here, hello, welcome. It's great to see you. I'm kind of taking an energetic break here by just doing these messages this way for now. I will be back <laughs> for those of you uh, who are normally used to seeing my face. I'll be back. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Show me the messages I need to see regarding the connection that cancer has. Okay. Show me what's going on with Cancer's person. Show me what's going on with Cancer's person, please. What are they thinking, feeling? Okay, hold on one second. Okay. All right, guys. So this, this is interesting. I feel like you let go of somebody, okay? And now they're feeling like kind of tortured by this um they feel discarded somebody here feels discarded so please take it as it resonates because it could be you it could be this person but i mainly feel like this is your person i feel like you cut this person off you were like listen you no longer have access to me i don't know what happened here just yet but um I feel it could have been something that has to do with social media. Maybe they were chatting with other people or you were something like that. Okay. But this person is definitely feeling like you don't want anything to do with them. They're mentally in their head about this connection right now. Okay. We have plugged and access granted. They have a fake profile and they are definitely, definitely watching you because they want to know what you are doing, what you are up to, who you are talking to, who you are with, what is going on here, okay? This is really um, a very clear energy. Somebody is being locked out with no access to somebody's life, okay? And they are incredibly not happy about it. So, let's see here. Let's see what happened. Let's see if we can get a little bit to the bottom of what happened here. What happened here? Why is this trash here? What's going on with this person with this trash? Please remember guys, this could resonate backwards. I'm talking about your person, but it could resonate for you, okay? Okay, you could live at a distance from this person. There was a lot of talking. There was some effort made, but I feel like somebody rejected an offer. There was a lot going on between the two of you. There was a lot of energy. There were, you know, Cupid's arrows, yada, yada, yada. Someone made an offer here, and I feel like somebody, um, yeah, somebody decided they were not going to take the offer. All right? <sighs> So the other person feels discarded. Okay, what's this lockdown? What's this mental prison confined? I feel like somebody can't stop thinking about this. Yeah, okay. So this is all this is all in reverse. Um, but it, it was kind of sideways too. So yeah, somebody feels foolish right here. All right. They might feel like a fool for even giving this a shot. Um, like making the offer. We have the six of swords. This person is having a difficult time moving on whoever this is. And then we have the five of pentacles, but it's in reverse. Okay. When it's in the upright, it feels a lot like somebody feels abandoned, but in this reverse, I feel like somebody's trying to let go of the fact that they feel like they have been um, discarded 
all right somebody totally feels like a dumbass here like I went I made my offer and you know this person just totally rejected me they acted like they wanted this they talked to me like they wanted this and then I finally start to like put things in motion and move forward make an offer and this person just fucking ghosts me wow okay um so someone's having a really hard time moving on I feel like because their ego got hurt by this okay talk to me about the social media talk to me about the social media please yeah, this person has more than one profile that they're checking you out on, okay? They want to see what is going on. They're very, very confused about this behavior. This could be you. This could be your person. For some of you, I feel like it's you, okay? So let's get into the... Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this thing. Let's check out an overall energy here, please. Overall energy of the spread, please. For Cancer. Cancer. Cancer, you came with the offer. Now you feel dumb. I want to know why. <laughs> or this person like came with the offer and you rejected them. Okay, so you take it as it resonates for you. But somebody here, it's like they made an offer. And now somebody feels stupid. Okay, what's the overall energy, please? So I'm just going to say that because I feel like this could resonate both ways, Cancer. Someone made an offer and now somebody feels like, damn, I got egg on my face because I got rejected. Okay. Oh boy. Overall energy, 10 of cups, the world. Somebody was potentially, there is distance here. We have distance twice. Okay. Um, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. So I'm feeling like overall, this was a really nice connection between the two of you with the world and the Ten of Cups, right? This person is seeing you as this beautiful opportunity for love or you are seeing them that way. What went wrong here? <laughs> What's the current energy that this person is feeling toward Cancer, please? What's the current energy this person is feeling toward cancer whoever this person is in cancer's life what are they thinking and feeling currently about this connection five of wands something wasn't right page of wands three of swords okay so this gives me a little more information somebody here i feel was a little bit this was like they were excited about this but there was something here that was rubbing this person in a wrong way they might have felt like they were in competition okay so what somebody may not be saying here was that they had other options right somebody here especially like you know by internet or they could have been talking to other people on the internet and maybe somebody knew that or they suspected that there's something fishy here okay this looks really nice but there's always a reason why somebody rejects an offer okay uh, like somebody m traveled or there was talking here and felt like you know rejected but there's a reason for that. There's the Three of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Five of Wands. So somebody felt really conflicted here, okay? I almost feel like they got a mixed signal or a red flag. There was something here that made somebody say, whether it's you or this person, I this looks like it's heading for a heartbreak, okay? You guys remember Def Leppard? You're bringing on the heartbreak, right? This has all the potential in the world. It still does, but somebody, there's some sort of conflict here. And I feel like with this Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups, this keeps coming up for me. Somebody put another person into competition. There was some talk here, and I think that somebody felt as if, well, my heart's going to get broken. Why would I accept an offer from somebody who, you know... I don't think this person wants to be put out. They feel stupid right now, but like, I, I don't know. Why sit on the internet and watch somebody and not have a conversation with them? Like, right? This is the conversation. So something was said here or done here that somebody felt conflicted with. Okay. What's Cancer's next? What's Cancer's person's next step toward Cancer? What's What are their next moves towards Cancer. 
this person, I don't think they're really wanting anything here, Cancer. I'm telling you, there's something that was said or done here. Yeah, this person is going to trust their intuition, High Priestess. Okay? They're just, they're going to think about this. They're going to think about this because right now, they don't know what to feel. They feel like there's they're going to be unsuccessful in sharing what they're feeling deeply or their feelings with you about this connection here. Okay. So I kind of get a little bit of an avoidant energy, but that's because something happened here and somebody is avoiding having the conversation about it. That's kind of sort of like beating all around the bush energetically, not sharing, um, maybe even feeling some sort of like, confrontation about it as well okay tell me uh what cancer's person is hiding please what are they hiding from cancer cancer you this you're getting an intuitive hit about this okay what this person is hiding from you cancer is that and like i said take it as it resonates Somebody needs a lot of attention here. They want your attention. They need your attention. And not just yours. I feel like this is a person who craves attention from like everybody. And that's why I'm saying I think somebody here realized that somebody else is getting attention elsewhere. So they just were like, you know what? No, I don't see any commitment here. I see a person who has feelings or, you know, has a willingness, but there is a conflict here okay and i'm gonna clarify that and see if we can get more information all right because this is weird it's a nice energy but somebody here was like i just i don't trust this okay cancer this could be you you didn't you know you realize like this person they need a lot more than i can give them attention wise all right why is the world here with the ten of cups please mm -hmm. someone regrets yeah someone wasn't clear about their feelings or their intentions like i said before somebody wasn't clear about this and now they regret taking this trip, communicating, whatever this is, okay? They regret trying to have this new sort of beginning. Somebody feels bad because they didn't communicate what they were really thinking and feeling about this connection, all right? Or they failed to be honest about something. So somebody could have found something out, found out a truth, and then they were like, nah, I'm good, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Why is the Five of Wands here in this current energy? Why is the Five of Wands here? Thank you. Yep, somebody just put an end to any of the conflict here, the competition, the fuckery, okay? There was, a, there was disagreement here. Um, I feel like when it came to feelings or what somebody wants or like giving this a shot, whatever this is. So it's almost like you could have met somebody online here, okay? Yeah, the lovers, right? Gemini energy, Scorpio energy could be dealing with the Gemini of Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, as I said. Um, I feel like, let's, let's use this scenario. You meet somebody online dating or whatever it is and things seem mad cool, but then you guys either talk to each other, you go to see each other, and you start seeing here, Cancer, that this person is seeming as if they're emotionally available, but really and truly, this person's not being fully honest about their intention and being emotionally open, right? So I feel like somebody cut off this, like, cut it off. There was the potential for this to actually be something, but somebody here was like, mm, I, I know that there's other people or other things here. There's something, okay? Why is the page of wands here? Thank you. Somebody wants stability, a family, stuff like that. And they might have said that. And I feel like cancer, if you're the person who said, I want stability, I want a happy beginning, I want to, you know, this is how I want things in the future. This person may have been like, nah, that's a conflict for me. 
Okay, so essentially you could have had somebody here who's just used to kind of emotionally manipulating people to kind of get what they want since we have this, right? You, you met somebody, you gave them access to you, right? Access granted, and then this person displayed an energy of not, of like playing games emotionally or not knowing what they want, trying to like manipulate to get something from you, okay? To emotionally satisfy themselves. What's this Three of Swords? Or this is the other way around, okay? Maybe you didn't really want nothing with this person. There we go. Five of Wands, Four of four of swords and this set somebody off three of swords somebody is heartbroken because somebody said listen i don't want to settle down okay i'm not interested in a long term here i'm interested in a good time not a long time five of wands i got lots of people that i could do this with okay and you're just not one of them what <laughs> Hey, good call on this energy here, whoever this is. Four of Wands, why is it in reverse? Because this person doesn't want that. They don't want marriage. They don't want engagement. They don't, yeah. Yeah, it's this realization here. The next steps are, hey, I'm not putting my energy towards somebody who's kind of letting me know or I'm finding out through friends. I'm looking at their profile. They never got a picture of a person. They're never in a relationship. I'm not putting any energy toward that. So somebody is just like in their head and they're like, damn. Okay, they're kind of, I feel the stifling here. Why is the High Priestess here, please? High Priestess, please, why is that here? Yeah, somebody put up their boundaries here and let go of this connection. Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy, and the Seven of Wands. Somebody was like, nope, best thing to do is just go, go quiet not not talk about this somebody's trusting their intuition here and knowing that somebody doesn't want long term i feel like somebody said i would like to have a future and the other person was like well red flag gotta run okay it's a conflict of interest we have five of wands five of wands you know it's a lot somebody was faking the funk here okay six of wands what this person's hiding clarify that yeah, look at this. Uh-huh. They out here. Look. Ten of ten of swords. Ten of swords. And the king of uh, the knight of cups. Listen, this person's a goddamn heartbreaking attention whore. Okay? Set it. Set it clearly. They what you don't know is this person just goes around doing this type of stuff. Hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey. Okay, with no intention of seeing any type of future with anybody. They just want what they want. They need emotional fulfillment, attention from people. So they'll go on the internet, they'll attract somebody, maybe travel to see whatever the hell this person's thing is. And they have no intention of doing anything with this. This is just to satisfy their own desires and needs emotionally or whatever. Okay, so literally this person was like a waste of time. This person feels like they wasted their time, but I almost feel like cancer. You called this person's bluff, okay? Because I'm picking this up as your energy here. Like you're the one who was like, oh, wait a second. When we talked, you said a bunch of stuff. But then when we started getting into this, now you've changed up your game, okay? Yeah, I'm I'm fe I'm feeling I'm feeling a Casanova here, okay? I'm feeling Mr. or Mrs. Casanova who's full of crap. This person literally might go around the internet hitting on people and then like seeing what they can get and then once they get a little bit deeper, you find out this person's, you know, they're doing this to a lot of people. They're seeing a lot of people. They're not committed to anything. The minute you say you want something, this person's like, "Okay, not interested so i feel like you could be the one feeling like you got egg on your face this person's rejecting your offer okay take it as it resonates what else do we have here please for cancer what else for cancer playfulness i think you guys had a really good vibe Okay, but uh, here, and I think that this person's a player. I'm not going to lie. I think this is like one of those like, oh, I'll romance you. I'll do this, that, and the third. Like, I'll waste my own time and energy just to get what I want. And like, what? I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, why, what else do we have here, please, for cancers? Retreat. You may have gone on some sort of vacation from this person, but I feel this is you pulling back your energy from this. 
or them. You know, take it as it resonates. Okay, guys, one more, please. One more, please, for Cancer. Romantic feelings. Yeah, I definitely feel like somebody had a lot of feelings here. And you felt like, yeah, this is worth me, like, giving it a shot. Okay. What else do we have here, please, for Cancer regarding this connection, please? What else for Cancer regarding this connection? Not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, jealousy. So this person, you know, or you, maybe you felt like you weren't enough for this person or like something was just missing, okay? But I kind of feel more like this is this person. This person has like ego issues. Um, they sabotage really good connections because they're just looking to get to play around. They're just looking to get their feelings, um, their ego stroked, you know, their, their pleasure for themselves. They're not really... They act as if they care about people, but then they don't, you know, because like I'm getting the ghosting, you know, the discarding, like that's something that a narcissist do where they just ghost people or discard them and they do it because, you know, they're on to the next bit of supply, right? So that's what this is, like the Seven of Cups, this internet stuff. It feels like somebody's on to the next supply. What else, please, about this connection or this person? heart with a key but it's in reverse welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect at one point this might have felt like wow this is a powerful match but this is in reverse okay so somebody is letting go of this connection because it felt like it felt like it was great but somebody is just discarding this this love okay they're just they're discarding it they're seeing this as like oh not the one blah 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 okay instead of giving this an opportunity I don't know what happened here. I almost feel like somebody just, I don't know, somebody heard something, experienced something where they're like, yeah, I don't know. This seems like this could be the person, but I don't think this is my person because it seems like they're just emotionally manipulating and playing some game here. Okay. They want to get what they want and they want to move, move, go to the next person. Okay. On to the next one. What else do we have here? Guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if it does resonate for you. Yes, the coffee cup, the coffin, it's over. Endings bring new beginnings. Abundance, keeping a positive mindset, gratitude, outdated thinking, replaying the events over in your head. There was some sort of conversation here with the coffee cup, okay? This could have been the first time you guys met, too. Um... There was a nice friendship here, I feel, before anything, okay? So maybe you guys would just make better friends than you would make lovers. Um, I feel like somebody, like I said, there's a manipulative person here, and maybe somebody tried to manipulate another person into some kind of connection they weren't really sure about, okay? So that's what I got for you guys. Um, like I said, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this is resonating for you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!